Hey San Antonio, my name is Manny Pelias. I'm the city councilman for District 8. Today I'm standing on the corner of Northwest Military in Wurzbach, one of the hottest, most busy spots for panhandling. Now a lot of you have been calling our office and the offices of uh, the other city council members and saying, hey, this is a really big problem for us, it's really annoying, what are you doing about the panhandlers? And you've noticed that the panhandlers are getting more and more aggressive. Well, I decided that uh, we'd look into this and I got my safe officers behind me and they're out there looking for panhandlers all the time. But Officer Bilstein's with me today and I, I want you guys to hear it from the folks that you say should be doing more. And I want you to understand exactly what is being done about panhandling and really what the root cause is here. So Officer Bilstein, you guys are driving around all day on patrol, right? right? right. And every once in a while you'll see a panhandler, right? Correct, correct. What do, you, what do you do when you see one? Well, we approach them and we tell them, hey, you can't be on the corner, you know, you're creating a hazard, we don't want you to get hit by a car, and that really is the problem. They get into the lane of traffic and people that are giving them money, they're creating a hazard by impeding traffic and backing up traffic. Not only that, these, these panhandlers can get hit, and they have been hit before in the past and yeah. have gotten hurt. So we, we get them off the street, we give them a ride to Haven for Hope, or we end up having to cite them with a misdemeanor cite. And here's the problem. I, I've talked to Chief McManus, and I, I communicate to him what I'm hearing from my neighbors. I said, the neighbors, they want to see you guys arresting these guys every time you see them. And McManus has told me, this councilman, we can't arrest our way out of this problem. Because how long does it take you to arrest someone, process them, and then get back out on the street? Oh, it, it takes a good hour, hour and a half. And if there's traffic times when they're doing it and we have to get into traffic to take them down to municipal court, it could be up to two, two and a half hours before we get back on the street and answer calls. So it does take quite a bit of time. And then my understanding is that because it's a classy misdemeanor, the magistrates, what they'll do is they'll just say, you've been in, the j you've been in jail for three hours, time served, get out of here. And then all they do is they end up right back up here. And so arresting the problem away doesn't work in San Antonio. And it's never worked in any city in the United States. In fact, really, the way we're gonna fix this is a difficult conversation, folks. It's about how big your heart is. And one of the things that I've been telling people, and you tell me if you agree or not, is that the reason panhandling happens is because San Antonians have big hearts. And San Antonians see a person in need and they roll their window down and they give money. San Antonio, I love you for doing that, I really do. And that's the right thing to do is to feel something when you see folks in need. The wrong thing to do though is to roll your window down and give money right there and then. If you feel compelled to give, open up your phone and go to the Haven for Hope website or the Sam Ministries website or the St. Vincent de Paul website. You can give online immediately, instantly. And we're gonna be working with these agencies to make it a little easier for you to do that on the fly. Now, what happens when a person panhandles and they get that money? A lot of folks think, oh, well, they're gonna go get food. But my understanding is that if we walk around here on these corners, what are some of the kind of garbage we're gonna find? Well, you're gonna you're gonna find leftover leftover bottles of water. You're gonna find hypodermic needles. You're gonna find evidence of drug use, pipes. Unfortunately, we find a lot of that in these homeless camps that we've been uh, been having to clear up and clean up. So your money going to them is not really going to help feed them. Um, I've seen situations where. You know, I've seen a panhandler, somebody tries to give them some food from McDonald's, and I've seen that panhandler go and take it and throw it away. They're not yeah. hungry, you yeah. know? And that's not to say that's for all of them, but the way to help these folks is from what you just stated. Yeah. You know, yeah. we want to get them off the street and out of traffic and help really kind of help them out. We need to help them in other ways, yeah. such as you said. So San Antonians are compassionate people. We just need you to target that compassion in the right place. So again, Haven for Hope's website, St. Vincent de Paul, Sam Ministries. That's the place to go donate. Now, one last thing I wanna tell you. Um, somebody recently said, no, 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 instead of giving them money, roll your window down and give them socks and give them food and give them all these other things. Folks, you're still creating a traffic problem. If you're giving people things out of the window at a stoplight, every single second, especially at this corner, it counts. And what you're doing is you're creating more traffic. But more importantly, you're inviting somebody to step into the right of way and remember a lot of these folks are under the influence those are the people we do not want walking in between traffic especially on heavy days like this and so do us a solid favor keep yourself safe keep all of san antonio safe help out our homeless community don't roll your window down please give to haven for hope sam ministries and vincent de paul also the next time you see a police officer thank them 
their jobs are really hard and they're really working out there. And I will push back anytime says, anytime anybody says, hey, SAPD is not doing anything about the panhandlers. They really do. They're answering these calls all day long. Thanks, officer. Thank you.